Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Uh, first things first, still a little awkward, but we're going to work it out. Um, my hard drive fell on the floor, and I lost everything. So, uploads will be very, very slow the next few days until I can get stuff hopefully back together. <laughs> so, uh, today we are literally doing um, The Flash Season 4, Episode 1, The Flash Reborn. I believe that's the correct title. Anyway, so we start off with six months later after Barry goes into the Speed Force. They have Wally and Team Flash doing like all the work that Barry was doing, and they're actually doing really a really decent job. They're doing like an okay job. Uh, it turns out Peekaboo is back, and she was um, basically turning around and stealing stuff, and well, she's gotten um, she's just celebrated her ability, and so um, but Iris is coordinating um, at the Star Labs and tells them when to get her. She was jumping off every third roof, so they finally got her and captured her thanks to Joe's boot. That knocks out the powers. It turns out um, Cecile, it's like West Family Night, except for Wally because he had to do more training. So it was um, Cecile, Joe, and Iris for dinner. And turns out Cecile was moving in with Joe. And then we find out that um, Julian um, moved back to London, so that's why he's not in the season. And that they need more help at um, a Central City Police Department. So basically, um, they need to get um, a new replacement or to bring Barry back. So uh, then uh, Joe is a little concerned with Iris about, like, hey, we understand that you're upset. Do you want to talk about it? She's like, what am I supposed to do? Curl up and ball? No, I need to keep going and do what he said to do. Just keep running. And so then um, we have Iris at the apartment, and she just she's sleeping on the couch because she can't be in the bed. And she put down his picture because she doesn't want to look at him because she feels like she'll just break down. That's what I got from that. Anyway, then you have the super samurai robot coming to town, and um. Cisco's trying to figure out how to talk to it, and Wally also like, apparently knows Japanese and talks to him. Like, what? It's pretty cool, though. And, um, so, but, um, luckily the samurai talks in English and says, like, he wants to flash. And, um, Cisco said, we're going to do that sword against, like, two people that have powers. And it's an insane sword. It's super cool. I was like, what's happening? But it was actually really cool. So the uh, samurai gets the ultimatum of one day to bring the Flash, or he's going to destroy the town. So Cisco wants to bring Barry back, um, and he might have a way of doing it. He's been um, talking to Felicity and to Curtis and a bunch of other people trying to get him back. So, but Iris wants to focus on the samurai and not focus on getting Barry back because she thinks it's a lost cause. And then we see Caitlin as a bartender, and. So that's very interesting. <laughs> and so um, Cisco goes to talk to her, and basically, a weird guy's at the bar. Cisco just kind of blows him off. So I'm trying to talk to my friend here. Then Cisco asks for her help, and luckily she agrees. And so, um, so they are working together to get Barry back. And um, when they do the test, it doesn't work. And but. A minute later, it actually does work, and then um, Barry pops out out the sea force, actually butt naked, and in front of a family, in front of a truck, and then passes out. So um, Cecile knows some people in, in that town that transported him back to Central City. So he's back there, and he basically um, has gone crazy a little bit. <laughs> Spray all these signs on the wall, which reminds me of Agents of Shield when uh, Coulson was uh, trying to do the hieroglyphic thing. So they have a so they sedate him, and so they um so they they try to wake him up again, and they wanted to use what they did the first time they woke up from a coma, and that was Lady Gaga's poker face. But uh, he's still crazy. <laughs> so then um, Iris talks to him, and then um. Barry goes really insane. He's like busting up the lab and everything. And then basically, uh, Kaylin, um, ices him out with the cold gun. 
and not her powers. And so um, they put him into the um, Particle Subway Jail. And then uh, Wally uh, dresses as a Flash to try to take over the samurai. But the samurai knows it's not Barry and then uh, gives him until nightfall while stabbing Wally through the leg, which apparently tore his um, a certain tendon, which was great. And so he's down for like five hours. So um, then they find a way to decrypt his code. And it's the place they ever. It comes out this house is bitching. Like what? <laughs> and um, so that doesn't make any sense. And so basically um, Joe um, shades Barry's face to make him more look like Barry. Um, then Iris and Joe talk. And then. But then the samurai is back in town, and basically what Iris does is she literally shows up and tells the samurai to take her, which he does. And so um, Joe runs back to Sir Labs, tells Barry what's happening, and actually he literally breaks out of the prison, which I didn't know was even possible, but he did. And so he literally broke out, and then he's chasing, chasing the samurai, and they go through this wind farm, and the samurai is destroying some of the uh, windmills. But he does manage to rescue her and to knock out the samurai, which was actually a robot, which I already knew. And so, um, but now he's back to his old self, and he now knows know how to talk right, because he was talking like straight up nonsense. And then uh, Caitlin is also going to be back on the team. So, um, she goes back to the bar to quit, and the guy confronts her, and she turns into Killer Frost, and kind of ices his brain a little bit. Then she switches back to Caitlyn. And then we, um, end it pretty much with a thinker intro, which is super cool. Like, it was so high-tech and so cool looking. I was really, that was really, really cool. So, um, my thoughts on the episode, I thought it was a great episode. I'll give this an A-plus episode. It was really good. I, I just really liked it. It was, it was funny, and it was I thought it was really good, and just everything about it was a great episode, so I really thoroughly enjoyed it. So, if you liked this video, please give it a like, comment down below, and then subscribe for more stuff, because I will be doing more stuff, but luckily for me, the only things that were missing were five files. For YouTube stuff so I might be okay I might just redo those five things because I know two of them were albums and the other or three of them were albums and the other two were songs so I might have to just re-listen and redo all that I know it's my puppy wallpaper isn't that awesome anyway I want y'all to have an awesome day and I'll see you on the next video and it's gonna be really quick because I'm doing Legends of Tomorrow right now luckily I got compulsive TV so anyway have a great day, everyone. Bye.